Let's head down for this week's In the Shop with Scott. I bend up some barrel hoop hearts and get the mini canoe out of the forms. But first. So this is interesting. The canister should definitely not be down there. Instead, it should be up on the dust collector. So got to get that thing reinstalled. This is not the first time it's happened. Um, I thought I had it fixed better the last time that I had the collar on good and tight, but apparently I was wrong. So first step is to remove the collar. I use a strip of duct tape to hold this in place temporarily, but it also helps seal that joint. And then bolt the collar back on. Hopefully the ridges hold. I took the fix one step further this time and used some self-tapping metal screws. Shouldn't go anywhere now. I received a couple new stickers this week. First from Brandon at Caribou Woodworks and Ashley from Shallow Creek. Thanks guys. Then on to the project of the day. I had a customer that I made a few of these barrel hoop hearts a couple years ago reach out for a few more. She wanted two large ones and two smaller ones. The large ones are pretty easy, just a matter of bending each end and kind of getting a rough shape. For the smaller hearts, I cut a hoop in half so I can get two small hearts out of one full hoop. Then using a file, I take off any rough edges. So I clamp the two ends in place so that I can drill and rivet. And then this happened. A lot like playing 52 card pickup as a kid. What a mess. With the rivets cleaned up, I then get to drilling the holes. And rivet in place. These don't bend quite as easily, but able to get it knocked out. I then drill a hole and add wire so they can be hung on a wall. With those hearts done, I move on to cleaning up the mini canoe. First by cutting off the excess fiberglass from putting the epoxy on. This goes pretty easy. Then I carefully break loose each of the station molds inside the canoe. With just the stem molds in place, I use a chisel to break those loose so I can pull it off the form completely. Then I need to sand down the inside of all the planks and get rid of any excess glue or tape from those station molds. This will take a little while. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. It felt good to be back in the shop after a little over a week off. 